of America. The aim of their visit is to know more about the history of Southern Africa. So far, they have learned about how the different tribes in Zambia came and settled in Zambia. But before that, just as the kingdom that covered part of Zambia, Congo, and Angola, and a kingdom in this area that covered Mozambique and Malawi, and part of Tanzania here. Some of the students here ask what they have learned. I am personally really excited to kind of dig into new cultures that I haven't previously learned much about, um, and to also get a a view of um, a, new, a, a view of a new country from the mouth of people who actually live there, not just from a textbook or from a teacher who never actually visited the place that I was learning about. I learned about the origin of African and especially Zambia and where the different people are from here. So far, we've been learning about the uh, migration of tribes into Zambia and uh, the different groups within it. And um, it's really interesting. I've never gotten to learn anything uh, about Zambia in my school in the United States. They also tell us why they feel it is important to learn history. I'm excited to go back home and uh, share with my friends back home uh, more about Zambia because we, we don't generally talk about it in our schools. We all live in this world together and it's important that we have an understanding of each other because then I feel like we can support each other better. Knowing how other people live and their culture is very important because it gives us a chance to understand them better and also interact and learn from others. So the visit by these students from the United States of America to Zambia has really helped them understand more about the Zambian culture and also know more about the tribes that are in Zambia. So if you get a chance to visit a museum in another country, make sure you do that. That way, you will be able to know more about their culture and understand them better. Reporting for ZKIS News, I am Spiro Panza.